I'm excited for this Mac. I think you're gonna you're gonna enjoy this. All right, I trust it well. It's gonna be interesting. We, do we have anything to write stuff down on? Oh, we, oh. Yeah, I brought... This is, this is the perfect... Yeah, I also brought notebooks. That's so excellent. I've never even thought of using a video camera. Every time I do acid with people who I feel like it'll be interesting, I always wish that I had notebooks and pencils or a computer that I have to write stuff down on. I never thought of just How actually... How many gigabytes going. are left on there? On where? On uh, that hard drive. Probably 30. Do you have an extra one around here? Um... Yeah, I have a 500 gig external out there that's completely unused. All the right. partition map is unallocated, actually. Well, because this, this has things in... The focus of this video is for me. So in case you wanted, you know, to have a focus for you, we'd have to bring in a second camera. A second camera, I see. Does that does that have an eyesight? I don't think so. Oh, okay. It's a yeah, power, it's power old. Mac. Yeah. G4. There's a MacBook Pro upstairs, but we would have to pick a lock to get at it, which could be an interesting adventure on its own. Because mm -hmm. I would imagine that would involve research and tool tool borrowing from friends of mine. Oh. I was trying to remember if I had an extra one in the car. And a lock think. picks it? Yeah. I, I don't think I do. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you pick locks? Like, is that something you do? I have. Though, locks that are around me tend to be difficult to start on. Mm. I'd imagine there are like difficulty settings that you're like things you can buy off eBay where it'd be like, here's a lock, easy, here's a harder lock. Yeah, there are. I, I have I never thought of doing that. I should just do that. But the the main uh, the main bearer was not wanting to spend any money at all. Oh yeah, I can see that the kind of ideas that would lead you to lock picking would also lead you away. I from suppose so. I suppose yeah. so. But uh, yeah, that's probably I should probably do that. Just get you know easy, medium, hard kind of things. But th those could potentially I don't know how much those could cost. That's it seems true. like they could potentially cost over a hundred dollars yeah. like for a kit. Yeah. So it'd be a kit. Yeah, it'd be a kit. It'd be like a set of doorknobs that are... Now, an easier thing to do would be to go ahead and start on suitcase on luggage locks. Maybe go to Craigslist, ask for them, or try and get luggage, either free or really cheap. You know, those are probably the easiest locks to pick. And then there's different types. You know, like combination locks, there's right. cylinder locks. I, I don't know how much you, you've read about I don't those. know anything about physical locks. You don't know anything? No. Wow, oh, yeah. I, 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 uh, I read quite a bit about it, and there's several uh, uh, sort of lock, lock sport blogs that I read. The best one is probably uh, tool.nl. It's called The Black Bag. And it's actually written by today's foremost uh, lock security person, who, uh, Mark Tobias. He's a Danish, and he is, he's leagues above other people. All right. It's, in, it's incredible. You know, like, think of some of your best hackers. This guy is that in locks. Right, this guy is, like, the bushing of... Yeah, he's been the first guy to break all, all kinds of locks, and the highest security locks for, you know, older types. Uh, you know, like, tra traditional uh, pin and tumbler locks, the highest yeah. security ones of those, he tends to, you know... And he's known for, as any good hacker, try, find, finding some heinously simple way <laughs> of completely, you know, circumventing the system and opening. Yeah. That reminds me, do you think I could impart the knowledge upon you as to how to break file vault? It seems like an appropriate time to do that. Right sure, now. sure, yeah. <clears throat> if, you, um, if you have a computer that has a file vault uh, partition mounted on it, then um, every time it does a read to that, it has to have mm -hmm. a certain public or private key of that. And servers are never supposed to have the private keys. They're only supposed to have the public keys, you know? But because the access happens on part of the server, which is considered the part of the computer that doesn't isn't related to FileVault, um, it has to have a private key too. Oops.